everybody, it's Kristen Brown here and I am going to do a pour painting today and it is sponsored by the Muskingum County Library System. Thank you so much for having me do this. I have an art studio down at the Masonic Temple in room 406 and I'm excited to paint with you today. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put out some plastic on your table. What I did is I just took a trash bag and just laid it flat on the table. Then you're going to want to have a towel ready to put down on the table. Preferably an old towel. So then you lay your towel across the plastic so then it will absorb any flowing water art. It won't go all over the place. All right, let's move this chair over. The next step is to make it easier for mixing. What I have done is I have a pitcher of water. I also have one extra water cup just to clean off my brush when I add a little detail at the end of the painting. I have different acrylic paints so I can mix and make different colors. And then I also have cups set up so I can mix the paint all together. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pour some water into each cup. And I would pour it, I would make the water probably about this deep for each cup. So I'm going to go ahead and pour water into each cup. And you can make as little or as many colors as you would like. It just depends on how colorful you want your painting to be. I'm a very colorful person, so I like a lot of colors. All right. Then once you have the water poured into your cup, about this much, we're going to start mixing colors up to go in. First one we'll do is pink. So we're squirting pink. And I would say to do about half of what is in here. Give or take a little bit, depending on how thick you want it to be. And then you want to make sure you stir that up really well. Now we have our pink and it's pretty watered down as you can see. Then I'll rinse off my brush and now I'm going to do a yellow. So we'll do that about the same. About half of this amount of paint. And then stir it on up. So it's all nice and stirred in. And then sometimes if you have little clumps in there too and you leave that in there, that can add another texture to your pour painting. Clean that off. Now I'll do a little bit of blue. And this is uh, more of like a turquoise aquamarine blue. It's my favorite blue. As you can see, my wall color back here with Baker Mayfield's legs. <laughs> 
I think I said in the last video, my husband is a huge Browns fan, so gotta have him hanging out here too. Stir that one on up. Beautiful blue color. This is it. So about that consistency. especially since it's uh, about to be Easter. All right, mix that all up. All right, rinse my brush off. Now I also have this, it's like a glitter glue paint that I'm going to add in that I thought would be Fun to try out with poor painting. So we're gonna mix this in. And that just takes about the same amount, about half of it. And then you'll stir that all up. And then we can just add a little bit of glitter to our piece. All right, and we're also going to add a little bit more for the white because we're going to do two different canvases on here. One I'm going to pour white on first and then the colors and then the other one we're just going to do straight color on them and see the differences. So for this one we're going to put in a little bit more water, probably about here compared to here. And we're just going to go ahead and put the whole amount of white in there. And then mix it all up. I'm still going to add just a little bit more because I think there's a little bit left in here. There we go. Stir it all up. All right. Rinse my brush off real good. It's always good to rinse your brushes off real good. And they'll get all stiff and hard. And you won't be able to keep them nice. So, now we have an, this is an eight inch by 10 inch canvas. If you want, they even have ones that you can get at the dollar store that you can buy if you're trying to save money. And this one is thick, a little bit thicker right here, but they also have flat boards there for sale. So the first one that we're gonna do is we're gonna get the white. We're going to take the white and we're going to slowly pour it all over the canvas. And then you'll slowly move it around a little bit so that it will cover the whole canvas. If there's some parts that aren't covered, that's okay because it will just add to your pore painting. All right, so the first color we're going to start off with the pore painting is my favorite, blue. You're going to take your cup and I'm going to start off right in the middle of it. So we're going to do blue first.
And when there's weight already on there, it lets it be more playful and expands all over it. The next color we're going to do is we're going to take the white again and go in the middle of the blue. Then we're going to take the pink and go right in the middle of that white. And we're just going to keep pouring the colors right on top of each color. Next, I'm going to take the yellow. And then in the middle of the yellow, I'm going to do the red. And sometimes when you do that, it might take away from the color that you put on. So what you can do is you can go around the edges of the blue with the yellow. And that will let the yellow shine more too. And I left some of the clumps in there too. So you can see the clumps right in here. Then we're going to take a little bit of white that right in the middle. You can also take the canvas and move it all around. You can move it slowly and it will pick up different shapes within it and just kind of slowly move it around. And that will give it a swirly sort of feeling all the way around in here. Then it's nice if you take a little accent, so you get your brush back out. And you'll take your white, or if you want to do another color, you can. And you'll kind of just dab it all over like this. Just to kind of add a little bit of abstraction to it. And you can also do other colors with that. a little bit of the red, maybe dab that on with the yellow, just make it pop out a little bit. All right. So that's the first way I was going to show you about doing for painting, and now I'm going to show you a little bit of a different way. Let me just put that right there so you can keep looking at it. And as it dries, once it dries a little bit more, you can move it around a little bit. You don't want to move it around too much at first because it will just turn into mud, and you don't want to do that. The next one we're going to do is another 8x10 canvas. And first, we're going to pour on the glitter. So you're going to take the glitter. Dump it on there and then move it all around. So it goes all over your canvas. And if it goes on the sides of the edges, that's okay you have a towel down. <laughs> there we go. And if it doesn't cover certain little areas, it's okay too, because then it will just add to the abstraction of your piece. So the next color we're going to do with this one, let's do red first. So we're going to take the red, and this time, we're just going to do, instead of dumping it, we're just going to do drips on it. And this is really fun to do because then it expands throughout the piece. And this one almost looks like flower pieces. I'm going to rinse off our brush. a little bit of pink now. Just 
do some drips of pink on there. This is fun too because it's forever changing because you have the glitter that's on there that's watered down and then you put the other pieces on top of it, the paint, and it just grows and grows. And then there's little glitter patterns all throughout it too. I'll rinse off my brush. Then add a little bit of my favorite color in. Turning out pretty cool. Rinse off my brush. And then I always like to go back in with a little bit of white too and add on top of the piece. Just a little playful drops of white on there. I'll rinse this off. I'm going to go ahead and let some of this paint drip off the painting that I first started. As you can see, the colors all drip down. It looks really cool. And then you can also go back in on top of that and add a little bit more. And I'm going to add a little bit of my favorite color to it. <laughs> Do some drips on top of that. And these are just some basics so you can get a little feel for it and then make it your own and do a whole bunch of art. I love making art. It helps me so much when I'm feeling stressed out. So these are the two poured paintings. I'll take the camera and help you get a closer look at them. Thank you guys so much for painting with me and I hope that you have a wonderful night. Be safe, be positive, and keep making art because this world needs us artists to brighten it when the skies are all gray. <laughs>